adult section of the library, we have 26 adult PCs, which is about 10 more than we had on the library floor before we closed. We also have, I'd like to show you the, the adult collection. We have about 70,000 items in the collection. That includes adult, children, and teen. And that's also more than we had before we closed. So we're really happy that we have the extra space to be able to fit our collections and our computers into. Right, right now we're standing in the periodical section of the library. Over here we have newspapers and uh, magazines. This section. And we have some furniture as well. This is our teen department. It was specifically designed for the young adults of the community. It is separate from our children's department and our adult department. We have a wide selection of young adult materials. Well, it is one of the largest circuiting teen collections in our system. We've created an area for homework to be done as well as lounging. And all of the materials and furniture were selected specifically for the teens with their needs in mind. As you walk into the children's room, you would notice on the pillar hanging a, a commemorative sign that says the Hilda Willis Foundation generously donated $250,000 towards the capital campaign in order to help renovate our children's room. And as you see in the children's room space, the area is both designed to enjoy the families to have time to have uh, time with their families and enjoy Great reading, but we also can use this space oh. for children's programs and services <laughs> to groups and daycares. The East Liberty Branch serves about 11 schools in our area and 25 day daycares and preschools. This new space is larger and more efficient than the old children's room. Um, it'll allow family and children family and children and families to experience the library together in a better way. And we've used a decorative film on the windows for privacy. And over on that wall we have murals that were in the stairwell of how the building before it was renovated in this this branch has a bestseller collection which allows our customers to browse materials that are normally on the long waiting list. Before it closed for renovation, East Liberty was the third busiest branch in the system, circulating over 160,000 materials each year. The customer service desk, the cabinets, and our two self-checkout machines are made of bamboo, which is a rapidly renewable resource and are a green product. The self-checkout machines in this branch will be the first to offer a method of self-payment for the customer. Room for library staff where we process and handle materials that the library purchase and that the customers request. One of the greenest features of the library is our operation itself. We have reused and recycled books and other materials into the community for over a century. We always had these glass walls of windows and uh, you know we continue with that again but uh, these windows in particular the glass has been sourced from within 500 miles of Pittsburgh which adds to the greenness and energy efficiency of the building and also another characteristic about the windows that adds to that are the uh, awnings or lips above the windows here. You can see they overhang the sidewalk and they eliminate uh, heat buildup in the building. A couple of the green things I'd like to point out. The tabletops for the computers are made of primarily recycled materials as is the carpeting. And the metal bookshelves are also made from recycled materials. We were also able to use about 90% of the de demolition and construction, what was left over from that, we were able to recycle and reuse in other projects. So we're very proud that we, we've we followed green building standards the whole way through this project. Okay, where we're standing right now uh, is really in closed space in the library. It was a former parklet that connected Bone Boulevard with the parking lot behind the library. And uh, part of this addition added about 8,100 feet to the library. Uh, we have about 41,500 square feet in the library. And um, the library is actually, even though it's bigger, it's 36.6% more energy efficient. And uh, that money that's saved there is about $10,000 a year. And that can buy up to 670 of these books that you see on library shelves here.
the um, Carnegie Library of Pittsburgh, East Liberty, has the plumbing that will save us 45% in water consumption over our previous building. Um, so we're excited about the uh, reduction in our um, use of water. And we also have all of our cleaning supplies are green. So all of our paper is recycled materials and our cleaning products are green.